What's going on, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. Is Hasim Rotman Jr. finna back out his uh, fight against Jake Paul coming up? I'm hearing rumors. I'm hearing some rumors on Twitter that, you know, he, he's finna back out or, you know, he pretty much wants more money. I don't know. This is what Jake Paul had to say. Some exclusive news for you, Ariel. Uh, Hasim Rockman Jr. actually right now is trying to renegotiate his contract. Uh, so he signed a contract last week for 10 times more than he's ever been paid for any one of his fights. And now, boom, fast forward one week, he's trying to renegotiate. He's trying to suck more money out of the fight. He's trying to do anything he can to claw and make the money because I think he realizes, you know, the consequences of what might happen. I think he's actually scared to fight me. Who knows if this fight's even going to happen at this point uh, because we're not, we're not going to pay him more money. The, the, he's not worth it. It's unfortunate, man. And that's, yeah, I guess going back to your point why I hope that Nate Diaz can get out of his contract because I believe Nate Diaz will actually fight me and isn't isn't afraid like most of these professional boxers. Well, as you can see by Jake, um, <laughs> that's crazy. If this dude actually backs out of the fight, bro, I don't know what to say. Two people backing out of a fight against Jake Paul just like that is absolutely insane. I mean, who's who's Jake Paul gonna fight? He mentioned Nate Diaz. I would love to see that. Honestly, I would love to see that, but I would I would rather him actually promote that fight rather than rather than Nate Diaz just jump right into the fight, just because, bro, I feel as though that fight could be able to sell a million pay-per-views easily, bro, just easily. What do you guys think in the comment section? Now, opposed to everything else, um, this is what Hasim Rotman had to say about Jake Paul going in an interview saying that he pretty much wants more money for his contract and stuff like that. This is what Hasim Rotman tweeted. He said, that don't even sound right, Jake Paul. Have y'all believed in anything? I'm ready to go August 6th. Money never been an issue for over here. Jake, Jake Fall <laughs> need to tell y'all what the real problem is. Oh, okay. Okay. He said, this ain't about money. Fake Paul, my promoter and the Honig family willing to bet a half a billion on me to beat you. So let's not mislead the public. Money could be of your choice. So it's on you with your good fighting self. Okay. Okay. So he betting a million on this fight. It looks like, um, I don't know what I had to say about this. I mean, uh, Hasim, you better put your money where your mouth is, man, because uh, if Jake Paul beats you or even if Jake Paul knocks you out, say goodbye. Your career is over. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I mean, let me know what y'all think in the comment section, what you guys think about this matter. Uh, is Hassan Rotman really finna back out of this fight? If he does back out of this fight, he might as well end his career because, bro, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's it for this video. Hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. What the fuck is that? You a bitch, you know you gonna lose. I got one question for you. Where have your tits gone? Bitch, this ain't free for you can run. Oh no. But I think I'm about done being missed. Bruh.